A spaceship in space sweeps stationary interplanetary dust. As a result, its mass increases at at. Okay, I think it's it's at a rate of, uh, where dm by dt dm by dt is equal to b b square, where uh, v of f. Okay, it's not v of f. It should be v of t. Is its instantaneous velocity. So the instantaneous acceleration of the satellite is. Since we did a very similar question, uh, I would say just uh, which question was it? Uh, Okay, so it was just four questions, you know, before doing this one. So I don't want to go much into the derivation. Let's uh, st uh, st you know directly get into the answer. And this time, let's use the uh, let this time let's use the force impulse theorem. Okay. So uh, okay. We know that the force external acting on the body will be used to change the momentum of the body, right? So F external is equal to change in momentum, uh, where rate of change in momentum, which is dp by dt. Now, what is p here? p is momentum, which is mass into velocity. Now, if both of these are considered to be variables, then we know that this becomes m into dv by dt plus v into dm by dt. And since both of them can vary according to time, given that it is a function of v is a function of t, v, uh, which is which means v of t, which is given to be instantaneous velocity, it means that velocity is a function of time. And so is mass given as a function of time, which is m of t. So this m can be replaced by m of t and v can be replaced by v of t. So now we have m of t into dv by dt plus v into d by dt of mt. Okay. Now, See, when it comes to the comparison of rocket, what we need to understand is in the rocket equation, we'll have two parts. One, when the rocket is within the gravitational field, and one, when the rocket has crossed the gravitational field and it has reached the space. In space, the external force acting on the rocket will totally be equal to zero, whereas in gravitational field, the F external will not be equal to zero. In fact, we have discussed this in much detail that the F external acting in gravitational force is nothing but the acceleration due to, sorry, uh, um, the force due to acceleration to gravity, which is the weight of the rocket, right? So that component is not present in free space. So in free space, F external is equal to zero, which means we can replace this term as zero. And therefore, what we have is M of t into d by dt of vt. Now see. What is acceleration? What is acceleration? Acceleration is equal to rate of change of velocity, which means if you differentiate instantaneous velocity, what should be you be getting? You'll be getting acceleration instantaneous or a of t. So d by dt of vt, since a is equal to dv by dt, what we get is d by dt of v of t, you will get a of t, which stands for instantaneous acceleration. Plus, instead of v, we write as v of t, because it is given that velocity is a function of time. In as v of t and what is dm by dt see this is where we come back to the question so dm by dt is actually given to us as b into v square which is actually b into v square of t okay so we have a of t b v square of t now what i'll do is i'll transpose okay first let me just multiply this term so now this becomes v of t into v square of t which becomes v cube of t. So, lhs so what we get here is uh, minus b v cube of t is equal to m of t into a of t and we've been asked to find out we've been asked to find out instant acceleration so this basically becomes this becomes minus b v cube by t minus b q of t the whole upon the whole upon m of t right so the correct answer is minus b v cube okay i don't have the options here so i think uh, that's uh, clearly given in your handout so which option is this option? Yeah, that's option C. So minus BB cube by M of T.